Hi everyone, Sahil from QuickNode here and today in this video we will learn that how we can create our own custom chain within few minutes using Arbitrum Orbit. So without any ado, let's jump into it. Arbitrum Orbit offers a framework which enables you to create your own custom chain very quickly based on the Arbitrum network. So which means that your chain will be a layer 3 chain Arbitrum will be the layer 2 and Ethereum will be the layer 1 chain. So to start creating your chain, go to arbitrum.io slash orbit, then click on launch a chain, then deploy orbit chain. And then you have to connect your wallet. It can be any wallet. I'm choosing MetaMask. And the wallet which you are connecting must have some ETH. In this case, we are using Arbitrum Sepolia. So it must have some ETH on Arbitrum Sepolia as well as the Ethereum Sepolia network as well. So there are two options if you want to create a rollup or a any trust based chains. So in this case, we will create a rollup. Any trust chains are chains based on DAC, which is Decentralized Availability Committee Network, which offers you very less gas fees on transactions, but it requires a data availability committee. So for our example, we will deploy a rollup chain. So select the rollup, then click on next. Then it will give you some options which are modifiable, some are not. So the first one is chain ID. You can select any custom chain ID for your chain and make sure you do not select a chain ID of a pre-existing chain. And then you can name your chain anything. Let's name it my custom chain. It's as simple as that and then there is an option to select challenge period blocks which means that uh, the number of blocks for which the current state of the blockchain can be disputed for because this is based on arbitrum network and arbitrum network is based on optimistic rollups so there is a possibility that someone might want to dispute the state of blockchain so this is just stating the period or the number of blocks until which the state of the blockchain can be disputed. The stake token will be ETH and the base stake token will be Ether as well, which is ETH. And you can customize the number of tokens or the amount of tokens a validator has to stake to become a validator. For this example, it's just 0 0.1 over here. You can increase it or decrease it, whatever, according to your will. So, then there is a owner. This is your address. The gas token, it's ETH. In a rollup, ETH will be the gas token. In any trust, you can create or set custom gas tokens. This is the validator address. You can add validator. And this is the batch poster address. Batch poster is nothing but a contract which will post the batches of transactions to the base chain to a different smart contract deployed on base chain. In this case, arbitrum network so now let's click on next and then you can review all the information again and then click on deploy and now it will ask you to approve some transaction this is to deploy the contract and once it's deployed it will look something like this you will have rollup configuration here you will have l3 configuration here l3 which is your chain and then you have all the addresses over here. So now what you'll need to do is download the zip files and then click on next. So once you have downloaded the zip file, open it in a file editor or file viewer, then decompress it. It will look something like this. Let's open a terminal and follow the instructions displayed over here. So for the first thing, what we will need to do is git clone this repo so that repo is uh, the arbitrum orbit setup repo and it has all the commands and script to set up arbitrum orbit cd into that repo and do yarn install this will install all the dependencies which will be needed to run the arbitrum orbit tools and framework on the local machine all right once it's installed open this directory in a file viewer or finder 
then go back to your downloads go back to orbit config directory copy both of these config files go back to your recently cloned github repo go to config then paste both of the files here and now let's go back look at the commands so now we'll need to run docker so until now everything was easy we have created our chain arbitrum orbit makes it very easy to create our own chain but now starts the hard part running the full node to access or to interact with the blockchain and that's what it's showing us right here so let's do that let's run docker compose and see what happens so first we'll have to go to config and then run docker compose up dash d the setup itself might take some time but once it's complete it'll look something like this so let's go back to our setup page or instructions page and then says that this will be our rpc url so let's test it out in uh, rpc tester tool or rpc functions tool for etherflow and select a library ethers.js let's first check out the client version which is the node version so it's nitro which is the node client of arbitrum net version should be our chain id so this was the chain id which we set earlier and then let's look at the block number and of course it's zero because it's not syncing yet so this is how you can create your own chain and this is how you can run your own full node but as you saw running the node is not easy and this was just one and it's still not syncing so check out the link in the description to learn more that how quick node can help you with the infrastructure and tooling of your new custom chain and uh, to learn more about app chains and rollup as a service check out the video in the pinned comment or in the i button at the top so if you learned anything from this video make sure to hit like subscribe to the quicknode youtube channel and i'll see you in the next one bye bye